How you guys look fuck here and welcome to another FIFA 19 player review and today guys are going to be reviewing the 92 rated footies winner Lozano. His card looks insane and he did cost me only 25,000 coins to complete his SBC and in the four games that I played him with he scored me two goals and got me two assists and he does have a four star weak foot as well as four star skill moves. Moving along with using him stats his main standout stats are going to be his 99 agility, his 92 short passing, his 93 finishing as well as his 95 dribbling and a did also have the artist chemistry style applied to this footies Lozano card and I'm going to put a little screenshot um, before I get into like, the highlights uh, of what I got with Lozano. One of the packs that I opened in this SPC, it's also in the community section on my YouTube channel as well. I packed Icon Hernandez, the like middle icon, so like not the baby one, but the one up from that. Uh, a Europa League Ross Barkley and a Foot Birthday Munier in a prime gold players pack. Uh, one of my subscribers uh, also said maybe that the pack weight's been increased and I think he's right to say that it definitely has and so it should be at this stage of FIFA um, but moving on from that I thought I'd just share that pack that was absolutely insane finally a free SBC pack actually pays out for me and I get my second icon of uh, FIFA 19 obviously Mateus being the um, being the first one but uh, let's focus about this Lozano card um, I like him I like him I wanted to see Gelson Martins if I'm totally honest win the whole um like voting competition but actually it worked out really well and then when I got Hernandez because it meant I could get a nice strong link to Lozano um obviously getting links to Lozano you really do need icons and there were a few decent Mexican players um and there's obviously a few decent players in the Edivis because the Edivis has been a very good uh league to watch this year mainly because of Ajax but um Let's talk about this card and how he plays. Fantastic. According to Fubin, around 140,000 coins to do him for a scratch. Not too bad, but I'm sure a lot of people have already got all the high-rated cards in the club. Maybe already got team of the season cards in the club. So I'm sure a lot of you guys can probably do this card for maybe even under 100,000 coins, which is fantastic. And um, I think he is worth doing, definitely. I think he's a really good quality card. I mean, his first pro for me will be his pace. Lightning quick, 99 acceleration and 98 sprint speed. Overall equaling that 99 overall pace. And you can notice how quick he is. He is very, very fast. He bombs down the right-hand side. You don't have to worry about him getting tired because he's got the 99 stamina. It's fantastic. It allows him just to beat defenders with ease. It allows to get him to get you know get you know get into the box, get into dangerous positions, break away from defenders, pace wise, fantastic for Lozano. Really, really good. Uh, it does actually feel like he's got 99 pace, which is absolutely uh, insane. But uh, his second pro as well be his dribbling, four star skill moves. Is it? Yeah, four star skill moves which is obviously pretty nice. Um, some would argue that maybe he deserves five star, but dribbling stats all around fantastic. 95 in game dribbling, 91 ball control. Uh, his balance is at 87. His agility is already maxed out at 99 with the artist chem style. His ball control and dribbling also go up to 99. And again, it's fantastic. Obviously, it would be nice if we did have the five star scummers for a lot of people that, you know, are very good at doing skills and stuff. But four star still definitely, you know, usable. Um, but it's just so easy to cut in with this guy. And just, you know, um, he just feels so agile on the ball. He feels so smooth to use. And it's just fantastic for a wing. He just feels fantastic. And now, you know, he can use that pace and dribbling. It, you know, it works really well. It combines it, you know, very well to get into good positions, uh, to get into the box, um, you know, to kind of just dazzle around defenders and stuff. It was just insane. But uh, yeah, dribbling again, another strong part of the card. And his final pro as well will be his passing two assists in the full game. It was a decent return from a winger, in my opinion. Um, again, fantastic passing stats. 92 vision, 93 crossing, uh, 92 short passing. Again, with the uh, artist chem style. His um, crossing and vision are maxed out at 99. And actually, all of his... Um, all of his passing stats go into the mid-90s. Obviously, some of them are 99, apart from his free kick accuracy, which remains at 81, which is fine. Overall, his passing stats, though, are fantastic all around. Um, and, and in terms of finishing, I'm not going to put that down as a major pro to him. Uh, he, he did score me two goals. One was a penalty, and one was an awesome chip goal. He did hit the woodwork on a few occasions, but overall, I thought his finishing wasn't the best that I've had. Uh, I don't think I was playing bad, you know, bad FIFA. If anything, I was playing pretty decent FIFA, but I didn't think his finishing was anything fantastic. I don't think it's bad or anything like that. Far from that. It's nowhere near bad, but what I'm saying is it was nothing that um, was amazing about the card. I felt that there were some chances that maybe he should have put away that he didn't quite do. But overall, I don't think, um, you know, if you're thinking of doing the SBC, I, I would overall recommend doing him. I think he's a very good player, especially if you're Mexican or, you just you know, if you're a PSV fan or you just happen to like Lozano. I think he's a very good card to go for. At the end of the day, footage is about enjoyment. It's not about thinking, oh, I should have put my coins into the SBC. Just go and do the SBC because, I was, you know, as I said before, when this promo finishes, the game is officially dead. Some would argue it's already dead now, but that's up to debate. But, um, 
yeah, no, I, I like this card, and I think that there's no major issues to him at all. He's even got decent strength as well for a winger, but um, this is a card that I definitely recommend buying out. I had a lot of fun using him. But anyway, guys, that is going to finish up this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.